who is in charge? That's what lawmakers were asking at the end of day two of a special Senate committee trying to figure out how the University of Hawaii could lose $200,000 in a Stevie Wonder concert scam. KIT Force's Catherine Cruz has the latest. What did you know, when did you know it, and why can't we get straight answers to our questions? That sums up the seven and a half hours of grilling of UH regents and other highly paid people in charge. It seems as though when working with the university, it's like they give you as little as possible. Lawmakers expressed frustration that even with pointed questions about how much the Wonder Blunder cost taxpayers, the answers were evasive. What may have started out as a $200,000 loss to the university now may mushroom to more than a million dollars, with the missteps and the layers of outside legal and PR and accounting contracts. But what triggered worried looks across the room was the concern that the settlement agreement and reassignment of Jim Donovan may not be legal because regents didn't formally vote on it, as some might suggest board policy dictates. We were advised by our general counsel that this was, you know, within board policy. It was a settlement with respect to $50,000, and it was a reassignment. If there was any potential liability or claim, because if it was a reassignment, then the reassignment was done, and if that position of reassignment were to be discussed, it should have been discussed in the open session, but that wasn't even posted on your agenda. I mean, you're contradicting your guys' selves left and right. The legislative probe threw light on serious governance issues with what some say is a dysfunctional board and a culture of operating in violation of the state sunshine laws. There are also questions lingering over whether the UH president may have overstepped her authority on more than one occasion. This Wondergate is yet another example of how some people perceive that the Regents is asleep at the switch or too cozy with the president of the university or with these outside law firms. Lawmakers were also surprised to learn that while UH administrators contacted the FBI about the concert scam, they also failed to let Honolulu police know about the missing money. Now, lawmakers also quizzed Manoa Chancellor Tom Apple and Rich Sheriff and two other regents and were wondering tonight if there was a need to hear from the university's top lawyer about advice she was giving to the regents and the president. Back to you.